Blood vessels form the roadmap of a body. They may have high flow, be larger, like highways, like the major arteries of the veins, or they may be local streets, the capillaries. They have slow flow and they make sure that the nutrients, the oxygen, they go to every single house on the road, to every single cell around the road. So when something is blocking this road, or if the streets don't respect the blueprint, they don't respect the rules, that's when a vascular anomaly appears. Blood vessels are everywhere, right? You have them from the brain to the tip of your toes. Vascular malformation is an abnormal trajectory, while a vascular tumor means a conglomerate of blood vessels that are forming in an area that's not supposed to be there. Vascular anomalies is way more than a cosmetic inconvenience. It may be life-threatening. And it's very important to find the proper diagnosis at the right time and bring the right management to the patient to improve their quality of life. We have surgical specialists involved in the team, such as otolaryngology, plastic surgery, and pediatric surgery, as well as others. We also have specialists involved from hematology, oncology, interventional radiology, dermatology, genetics, pathology, gastroenterology, and others that are involved in the care of our patients. So vascular anomalies have a very large spectrum, and some vascular tumors, like typical hemangiomas, are extremely common. It's almost 1 in 10, 1 in 20 children will have some sort of vascular anomaly, some sort of hemangioma, to being extremely rare. To put a certain number, it's not that easy. I can tell you that right now we have probably around 250, 300 very difficult, complicated patients that we follow in hematology, oncology. But at the level of the hospital, there are thousands. You should be present in our vascular anomalies conferences to see the enthusiasm of these people and the experience they bring to the table. So whenever we discuss the patients, everybody will say, oh, I've seen this before. I have treated so many patients that had this before. And I think this is one of the strengths we have at, at Texas Children's because we bring this new patient to the whole team. Evaluating and managing patients with vascular anomaly center here, it's nothing new. We've been doing it for years. But designating a vascular anomaly center, it's way more than that. It means that all the specialists, they come together and they have a coordinated plan of care. Outside of having the medical experts, we have all the other services, meaning we have physical therapists, we have lymphatic massage experts, we have social worker, child life, psychologists. They are all coming to help the child, the patient, and the whole family take care um, of this vascular anomaly. Our team is involved in research and education across the United States and across the world in regards to vascular anomalies. We are also involved in clinical and basic science research in order to help improve and help identify new treatments to improve the outcomes of these patients. I am very excited to have the Vascular Anomaly Center at Texas Children's Hospital. We have all the experts here, everybody, is, is at Texas Children's.